definitely a must. I wanted to hit the trail before sundown. And I'm gonna show you the last bit of sun before it goes down. <laughs> So about an hour ago, I just got off work and I, uh, I rushed it here to the mountains because I want to get to this campsite, um, cook up some dinner tonight. As you can see, I'm doing this alone, so I don't know. I've gone camping alone, but never like backpacking alone. Luckily there are some uh, cars up there that, oh shoot. I forgot to put up the permit. Damn it. Anyway, doing this hike by myself. I have gone camping before, but not backpacking by myself before. Um, it is about, I think, two and a half miles into this campsite. I fully anticipate that I'm going to have to be walking in the dark, as you can tell right now. It's already pretty darn dark, so I got this and some hiking poles to help stabilize me later. Oh, look. Pleasant View Ridge Wilderness, Angeles National Forest. It does look right to me. But as much as I love camping and backpacking, the times I have gone camping by myself, it's kind of creepy. In the middle of the night, there'll be like a gust of wind and your whole sh tent will shake. And I don't know, it's just kind of unnerving <laughs> for me. It also doesn't help that both Andrew and I are scared of the dark. Well, uh, mostly me. pretty incredible. I grew up right next to Andrew and Brian, which was in kind of a quiet little suburb of Columbus. So, you know, come 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, you might see a car here or there, but the only thing you really hear are the frogs chirping and the crickets cricketing. <laughs> Out in LA, it took me a few months before I started to get used to listening to the sounds of cars at night. But, not only am I, I feel like I'm the only person out here. Um, I don't really even hear any birds or bugs or anything like that. It's just supremely quiet. It is definitely getting really dark now. I think I still have a ways to go. Got these nice boulders right around me. All right, gotta keep going. I, uh, I think I found it. I found some voices, I saw some lights. Very excited to go. Um, I'm gonna try 
I get a fire going, cook up something to eat, and uh, go from there. I can use this to uh, definitely get a spark going once I fluff it up a little bit. And it looks like there's some kindling too. Brought an axe and a knife just to help with that. I'm ready to get going. some peppered mackerel tonight. Now, usually I cook beef, but I wanted to try something fishy this time. All right, well, second time's a charm. Okay. cooked. Bon appétit. Mm. Mm. Very crunchy. Obviously peppery. Mm. But it's so good. When I got in last night, I had no clue where anything was. All I had were these lights from this family that had uh, had gotten in. Uh, they were incredibly helpful, incredibly kind getting me in, um, telling me where the other campsites were. They were so great. That's what I love about campers. And they actually have their own YouTube channel. Anyway, uh, shout out to you, the who was just walking in the background here, the, the dad that helped me. Um, I think it was General Kobe. He films his hikes think around here with his family. So thank you so much, General Kobe.
So I decided that I'm gonna go back the same way I came, which is kind of nice actually, because now I get to see what it looks like in the daytime. It's honestly a lot less scary. But for whatever reason, <clears throat> I'm just not with it today. And I got a decent night's sleep. I woke up every few hours or so. It's a little cool for me. So I had to keep turning over to keep warm. It wasn't that cold, but it definitely felt like it. It could also be that I'm just out of shape. I ate too much this week. My pack is too heavy or it's just too hot. It could be one, if not all of them. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just, I'm ready to get back to my car.